it's still considered one of the worst disasters to ever happen in Texas. 84 years ago this week, an explosion at a school in East Texas killed hundreds, mostly children. But it led to change that we still see today. Here's the backstory with Bob Buckaloo. The 1930s in East Texas. Despite the Great Depression, money was flowing from the oil fields. Little towns like New London near Tyler were prosperous. The community built a new school to educate grades 5 through 12, said to be one of the most modern in Texas. To provide heat and winter, school officials saved taxpayers $300 a month to pipe in natural gas from the oil fields. It was a tragic mistake. At 317 in the afternoon of March 18, 1937, the school building exploded. A young Associated Press reporter named Walter Cronkite covered the story. He would later write, two minutes before classes were to be dismissed for the weekend, a student in the basement woodworking shop switched off a bandsaw. The spark did its work. Workers from the oil fields rushed in to help pull victims from the tangled mass of shattered steel and concrete. But for many of the students and teachers, nothing could be done. 294 died. Most were just kids, like fifth grader Bobby Jean Smith. Iva Jo Smith, she was in the sixth grade. Seventh grader Earl Jefferson Scott, and so many more. Many now buried in graves in the red soil of East Texas. John Davidson's sister, Ardeth, also died that day. My mother would make, you know, casual statements sometimes about teaching her to drive and how pretty she was and how talented, but not much. They just, they blocked it out of their lives, I guess. Back then, natural gas was odorless, but because of the New London disaster, a chemical has been added, giving it its distinctive smell, no doubt saving lives. And today, the New London Museum welcomes visitors from across the country. And nearby, close to the new high school, a monument recalls that horrible day in March, almost an entire generation lost and still remembered. Bob Buckaloo, KVU News. The bill lawmakers passed in 1937 required that fuels be added to natural gas to give it that rotten egg smell that you may associate with it now.